So she shows us our destiny. And in some sense, she's the living proof of the gospel. I said once to the nuns here at the monastery, the gospel is not at all about Mary. Mary's not part of the preaching of the gospel. The gospel is the preaching of Christ crucified. So the gospel is not about Mary at all. <laughs> but Mary is about the gospel. Everything in Mary is about the gospel. She's the great living proclaimer of the gospel. She's the most perfect evangelist that ever lived. But she's also the perfect martyr, the perfect confessor, the perfect theologian, the perfect hesychast, the one who has the greatest knowledge of God through Christ, the one who has the greatest love for Him, the one who is closest to Him than anybody could possibly be, and patterns and images the closeness, the intimacy, and the communion that we are supposed to have with Christ and with God Almighty, our Father, in and through Him, by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit.